Yo, what's good? Welcome to Getting Down to Earth, episode 2, the podcast where we talk about the honest issues of our planet. So, let's jump right into this. Um, I guess we'll start with the question and answer, because why not? Um, today, I've decided every day we're going to be doing one word in um, Answer the Public. So today, we are looking at the word energy. Let's see, so here we go. Uh, What energy resources are renewable? That's a good question. So some renewable energy resources, uh, main ones that come to my mind is obviously solar. When you see people, when you see, when you see people uh, with solar panels on their houses or you see a solar farm, which is just a huge spread out thing of solar panels, Um, Those are all solar energy, and they basically take radiant energy, radiation from the sun, and turn it into energy that can be used for all sorts of things, Um, as light energy, as electrical energy, uh, it can be used as heat, it can be used um, for all sorts of fuel, all sorts of things. Uh, there's also, um, how do you, what do you call it? Whatever, like energy from water. Um, so that can form energy. Um, and that is renewable just because it's water. Uh, and water is a renewable resource. However, we, we are limited to the amount we can have uh, clean and stuff on this planet just because water is a renewable resource does not mean you can use as much of it as you want uh, please don't do that because wasting water is never okay um, there's also wind powered energy uh, if you see those what are they called like those the, are they called like wind windmills I, I don't know what they're called but you see those things um, I don't live near many because I just, it's not windy where I live, but, um, I went to Pennsylvania, and I think I saw some, and those produce energy, they transform kinetic energy into, yet again, all those other types of energy that we use, kinetic energy is energy from an object in motion, uh, and that's also things they're trying to figure out, um, I know, like, my dad one time had, like, a bike, and the lights on his bike were powered by him pedaling his bike, which is super cool, super cool concept. Uh, I think it did make it harder for him to ride his bike, but it's a really cool idea, and I think they're trying to continue to do that to make more renewable energy resources. Kind of like, I don't know if you've ever seen um, the hamster on the wheel, and like in those cartoons and stuff, the hamster runs to get the to get a light bulb to turn on or something. Um, Things like that. I don't know how how you can how, if that's really if you can consider that renewable. But sure, um, that's also a a thing. Uh, can energy be stored? Yes, energy can be stored. Um, however, we are limited to the amount of energy we can store. Uh, I think that's why we have like batteries and stuff uh, to store energy and. Then it can be used when it need when we need it to, not just right away. Um, I think a lot of people with solar panels store some of their energy just in case it's not sunny someday. Um, then they have energy still, or if, if the power goes out, then they can have um, so then they can have energy still and no one else on the street does and they got their solar panels with energy i I shared that in a video not too long ago you can probably go check it out uh where i talk all about solar panels and yeah um so yes energy can be stored uh, and i think we will be talking a little bit more about that later um can energy drinks make you fat that is not related to this but uh, i'm sure they can if you can drink enough um energy drinks yeah i wouldn't drink them just drink water guys just drink some water like 
if you if you're not getting in or if you feel like you need an energy drink go get like some sleep or something i don't know um energy drinks can you make you fat for sure i'm assuming they they probably have most of them probably have sugar um and calories anything with calories can make you fat just gonna put it out there um well i'm wondering if energy so one thing i learned this past year in my eighth grade physics class was that energy cannot be made or destroyed but it can be transferred into other forms so uh, i'm just kind of wondering i i uh, because of corona my my school year came to a close a little bit short and i don't remember anything so um if it's if it's a non-renewable resource yeah i don't get that how how renewable and non-renewable resources work i guess i guess still energy isn't being made it's just being converted into another form when the sun shines and we use that as electric energy from solar panels we aren't making the energy we are converting it but it can't be destroyed I don't know the exact definition of the word destroyed in this context, but um, because when you use a non-renewable resource, when you use coal as a energy resource, the coal is getting destroyed. However, I suppose the coal is being used um, probably for heating your house or something. And if that's the case, then the coal energy turns into thermal energy. And then that thermal energy uh, will stay in your house. Uh, and unless your house is crazy well insulated, it'll escape the walls and the windows, the doors, and things like that over time at least uh, to make your house cooler and heat up our earth by that like thousandth of a degree you know like very minimally and over time because we all like heating our houses the air goes outside you know I don't know what I'm saying exactly but um I suppose it's never being destroyed because it's just getting converted into another form I answered my own question guys this is why you need to have a podcast answer your own questions (laughs) um I don't have any listeners right now, obviously. Let's see. React to some eco news. Let's look at some eco news. Um, okay. Apparently, guys, Tesla is working on a new battery, which is very exciting. And I think this is where we're going to start talking about storing energy again. Uh, but they claim that this one will be smarter and bigger than our current ones, I suppose. Um, It's not really saying much. It's just saying it's going to help with your power bills. It's going to... I guess it's going to use less energy, but be able to probably charge faster and keep hold the charge longer, which is great. Um, I am currently ending my internship, if you've been following my blog, my or my vlog either one um you would know i am doing a internship right now about renewable energy and we spent multiple weeks focused on electric vehicles and uh we interviewed a lot of my hair is just a mess i am sorry uh we interviewed a lot of uh residents in my town and they a lot of them were really concerned a lot the people that had electric cars and stuff They were really concerned about like range anxiety, um, meaning it's just because there aren't really many electric chargers, electric vehicle chargers in my town, they get scared, like, because we can all go fill up our cars with gas uh, whenever and not have to worry about it because there's always gas stations, like, every few miles, so, um, yeah, they... They were concerned about range, range, sorry, that's my chair, range anxiety, um, and I think, I mean, 
I don't know if they really want a Tesla. Teslas can be super pricey, uh, which can make them interesting. They are super cool cars. I've been in a few. Um, but they can be pricey, and that isn't always the best. Um, I found some, actually, I, uh, in my internship, I did find some relatively inexpensive Teslas, but that's aside, besides the point. Um, so, anyways, if, if more... So, let's see. They are saying... Um, I don't know what they're saying. They're saying it's going to be big. That's what they're saying. Um, but if, if more car companies can do that with their electric batteries, uh, that would be great so that there would be less, uh, range anxiety and things like that to help, uh, and get more people to want electric vehicles. Um, let's see, some other news... Also, okay, Australia is planning on storing carbon in their soil. Um, I don't know why they think this is a good idea. So, what I know is trees, um, most of you know, like, we breathe out the CO2 and they, the trees breathe it in, which is why trees are so important for our, uh, environment, as well as the fact that they breathe out H2O, which we need to breathe, um, so trees, so the trees when they breathe in the, our CO two, they actually do store it in their soil, I believe, and I think that is part of an issue in itself. Uh, the way we use the soil once it's been once CO two is in it, um, so they talk they've talked about manually mer- removing carbon from our air, but they don't know where to put it. I guess um, because of photosynthesis plants turn carbon dioxide into organic material known as biomass um but what i'm wondering is i should probably look this up um is i guess i'm wondering is carbon dioxide bad for soil is carbon bad for soil let's see oh shaky camera is carbon bad for soil let's see sorry okay carbon is a main component of soil organic matter and helps give soil its water retention capacity its structure and its fertility according to law some pools of carbon housed in soil aggregates are so stable that they can last thousands of years so Right, so this this article is called Soil as a Carbon Storehouse. That's interesting. So, soil doesn't affect, I mean, carbon dioxide doesn't impact um, plants the same way it does for us. Um, so, I get that. Uh, of course, though, we can't just, we can't keep, we can't just keep doing that. This, that's not a non-renewable I mean that's not, you know like it's not something we can do infinitely and definitely and just forget about the fact that we are producing all these things uh especially because we use non-renewable resources um usually which which end up producing the fossil fuels and carbon dioxide uh however I don't know I mean carbon dioxide is definitely a main component in um, climate change, I think, honestly, though, I, I think, I think, personally, methane is a bigger component, uh, because of the amount of cows we have on our earth, but, yeah, CO2 is definitely an issue, and, uh, we do gotta find what we should do about that, um, do, what I'm wondering, do, um, do, do renewable energy resources still produce carbon dioxide? Probably. I know, like, the process of making solar panels produces carbon dioxide, of course. Um, so, in the, in the ultimately, yeah, they do. Um, so, okay, I, I see where Australia is coming from. This, like, oh, let's just put it all in the soil. But uh, we do got to find something better we can do with that CO2. 
Uh, so I guess I'm counting on all those scientists out there, which I hate to say, but um, I guess it's true. So I guess that brings us to the end of our podcast. Um, my last, or in one of my videos, I'm going to post maybe a few of them, the audio just sounds so bad, um, so heads up, if you're gonna go watch any videos, uh, posted around this time, just heads up, you might want to keep your volume turned down, it sounds really bad, uh, I'm debating if I should get, like, a microphone or something, I think that would make me such a cool podcaster, but, I don't know, maybe I'll find one secondhand or something, uh, it would just be super cool to have a mic and actually have high quality, videos but I'm not sure yet so hopefully we can connect sometime soon again what am I talking about connect okay whatever I'll see y'all in the next one um and tell me if you like the quality of this video better than like my, my other videos before this one I'm using a different camera so yeah I don't know if it's better or worse though so I'll see y'all in the next one and for now peace